Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Today I've got a best of the best video, so it's kind of like a best of the year, ultimate yearly favourites. I'm going to mix a few things in together, so we've got some beauty, skincare, um, style bits, I've also got uh, like YouTubers, a little bit of everything. I didn't want it to be too like just beauty focused because, I don't know, I feel like I've done that for years. Definitely have other favourites in my life apart from just beauty things, but there are a lot of beauty things as well. I'm actually going to start with my favourite book of the year. Since reading this book, I feel like it's changed how I think about a lot of things and how I think about life and everything. And also I think it could help loads of other people as well. So it's uh, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a. It's by Mark Manson. And I've read The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a. I like her method, but I, I almost got a little bit bored while I was reading the book, whereas this book, um, comes at like not caring about things at such a different angle and for me it was a lot more impactful a lot deeper and it made more sense to me this is so this is such a good book i i, I got this because i saw jen talk about this close from jen from close encounters it's brilliant i think next i'll do style bits just because there's, there's less of them right so the first thing are uh, i think my favorite shoes of the year have to be these ones from top shop even though i definitely i I got these last year. <laughs> I've had them for ages, but they're these patent vinyl shiny boots. I've just worn them so much. Like I must've worn them in spring, maybe not as much in summer, but then definitely autumn, winter. They go with so many things. They, they add so much to your outfit. They make it look much edgier um, and more trendy, I guess. And also I get so many compliments on them whenever I wear them. Um, and I forget that they're, they're kind of unusual. There's quite a few, I think, like this on ASOS. And I don't know, Topshop might still do some, so I'll try and link some similar ones down below. But I love these, they're still going strong and they're so battered. <laughs> My favourite bag of the year? I was thinking, what's the one that I've reached for the most and that's it's made me like my outfit so much more when I'm wearing it and it makes me feel good when I'm wearing it. There's definitely my JW Anderson logo bag. Um, I love this bag so much that if I could I would have it in so many different colours. They oh, they do like a bubblegum pink, um, oh my god there's like a gorgeous maroon colour. I went for this neutral tone and I love this bag because it's so versatile. It's got this thick strap so you can wear it, you can wear it like that or it comes with a long chain, so you can wear it crossbody, or you can take that all off and just hold it as a clutch. Next, I was thinking of, I was trying to think of another piece that I've reached for over and over again this year, and definitely these jeans. These are the Topshop straight leg raw edge jeans. <laughs> the waist 28, leg 30, um, and I love these so much. They're just straight leg. Also, whenever I wear these, like on my Instagram or here on YouTube, everyone, I get so many questions about what jeans I'm wearing. Um, and it's been these most of the time, or my Urban Outfitters ones, which RIP. <laughs> I think that's it for style, fashiony bits. Let's do hair. So, first thing I have to say, I have to mention, and I feel like it's annoying because I feel like I always talk about this, but it's the Orbe Apre Beach Wave and Shine Spray. I love this so much. I really, I do like the dry texturizing spray, which is I think more, much more spoken about, but it's obviously a lot drier. When it's not your real hair, I think it's, I often feel like I do need to add that bit of shine. Um, and this adds shine and it just kind of free, I mean, it freezes your hair in the loveliest way, but it does, it's not, it doesn't freeze your hair in like a horrible 90s way. <laughs> obviously it's still movable, but like whenever you style your hair and put this in, Oh, it just, the look it gives your hair is amazing. It kind of does the work for you. Another annoying thing though is this is this is quite pricey. It's something that I don't really like to go and pick up because I always feel guilty about getting it. Um, and But I was gifted this once, the first time, and then since then I go back and repurchase it and repurchase it because I love it. Next is something I discovered this year. It's the Bumble and Bumble Dry Oil Finishing Spray. And it kind of just does exactly what it says. It's an amazing product, it smells lovely. I use this at the end of styling my hair. Sometimes I feel like it gives it a little bit of nourishment at the end. It's an invisible oil, oh, UV protective. But it is kind of invisible. It doesn't leave your hair feeling or looking greasy at all. It's kind of like a dry shampoo oil. It's one of those products that I didn't expect to really love and then I was, it surprised me. <laughs> That's it for hair because you guys know that I'm not that into hair. I'm quite, I don't know, I just discover certain things and I just tend to stick with them. 
but a body product that I've been loving and um, this is quite late into the year I didn't get this that long ago but it's the Glossier Body Hero Daily Perfecting Cream I've mentioned this in the favorites before but I love that it's so big so it lasts you it will last you ages um, I just love how it smells it sinks in quickly makes you smell lovely it's really it's quite luxurious as well we'll definitely repurchase this um, and I'm quite fickle with my body creams usually but this is one that has really usually I don't love them like I'll like ones but I don't really fall in love with them and I love this one maybe I'll do skincare at the end because there's not much perfume um, I love my perfumes I'm obsessed with perfume and I'm really picky um, so I kind of wanted to show a few different ones but I was like no just keep it whittled down like keep it as simple as you can so it just ha it had to be my Jo Malone peony and blush suede because I wore this so much during summer and this was my, it was kind of like the base scent for our whole wedding and for my whole scent of my wedding. Um, so it's like massively sentimental as well, but it's such a gorgeous scent and it's something that I never smell on other people. Um, and it just makes me feel so pretty and feminine. Um, and, but also what I love about it is that it layers really nicely with deeper, deeper, more kind of musky scents as well. For the winter fragrances that I've been wearing this year, it's just gone back to what I wore last year, like my Tom Ford Noir, which I've mentioned before. So this is my number one. Foundation of the year, definitely, this was really easy for me and I'm obsessed with my foundations. It is just this little stick. It's the Hourglass Vanish Stick, is it called I think, yeah. My shade is in warm beige and I absolutely love this. Like now I could not live without this foundation. It would be so good as well for if you're traveling because it's so light, it's tiny. It's lasted me really well and I'm really surprised because usually when I've used foundation sticks, they I get through them really quickly and I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered to repurchase that. Actually, let's see how much I've got left. I haven't even looked. Oh my God. Oh, okay, not tons. <laughs> but I've been using it a lot ever since I got it and it was months and months ago. Love the finish this gives. It gives a really good coverage. Um, on me, I'd say it's like a medium buildable coverage. Well, medium to heavy. I love it because it just melts onto the skin so quick, like so easily. So it makes it really easy to blend into your skin. I love that it's not matte. It's not very matte either. It, it still gives you this nice soft glow to your skin. Definitely worth it if you were wondering whether to give this a try or not. If you like a bit more coverage as well, definitely try this one out. And it lasts, it pretty much lasts me all day, I'm sure as well. Highlighter. This was difficult because I've tried lots of highlighters during the year. I was trying to think about what I was reaching for most this year and what I enjoyed using. I feel like I'm gonna say that so many times. <laughs> But I really loved this. It's the Marc Jacobs, I hope, I don't actually remember if this is limited edition. Do You Dew Drops Coconut Gel Highlighter. <laughs> Such a long name. So I only really got back into powder highlighters during winter. Most of, the year, most of the year I was wearing cream or liquid highlighters because I think especially in summer they look the, the glowiest and the most natural. But it just blends into your skin so nicely, so quickly and easily. Um, it just gives you a gorgeous glow. Like there's not that much I can say about it, but if you're in the market for a more high-end highlighter, that is amazing. Definitely try it out. I hope it's still available. <laughs> okay, let's do lips. Um, so it was really, for lip liners, it was really hard for me to choose between these two. Um, and they're actually really, really similar. It's Max Boldly Bare Lip Pencil. I first uh, discovered this when I filmed with Sonia Esmond. Um, and she said this was her favorite one and I was like, definitely need that because she's an actual goddess. <laughs> um, so I got it and I've loved it ever since. And then also the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. I love this because it's softer than the MAC one. It is quite similar to Boldly Bare to be honest, but it's much softer. And then kind of a match up. My favorite lipstick of the year, which usually is really hard for me, but this year was really easy. Ma uh, Max, no, <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Lipstick. Love this, I'm wearing it today. Um, and it was also my wedding lipstick. Um, it's just one that I feel so comfortable in. I feel like it boosts how my lips look. It's matte, but it's not drying. I'm sure you all know. <laughs> I'm sure you all know about this. Oh, lip balm. Oh, <laughs> I reach for it all the time. It's the La Mer, um, Balm de La Mer, the lip balm. Uh, not much to see. It's just, it looks quite basic, but 
oh it smells amazing and it's such a nice uh, rich formula i'm not gonna bang on about a lip balm because it's a bit boring but this is amazing if you'd wanted to try it out. Even though I really like to look bronzy and I feel like I look best when I'm kind of suntanned and bronzed up, I'm not a huge bronzer girl. I feel like I'm more of a highlighter girl, but this year I definitely, like if there was one bronze that I loved, it was definitely this, Marc Jacobs. Uh, Tantastic Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect. Why are these names so long? <laughs> this bloody bronzer basically. I've seen loads of people talk about this as well. I think it's really loved in the beauty community. Um, I think the size of it is a really good pointer as well. It's just, it's so nice to use, so nice to take away with you as well. Also, because it's very thin, it's quite practical, even though it's big. It's just such a lovely shade. It doesn't make you look muddy or too red. And at first I didn't think it would be dark enough for me, but it do it is, and it shows up really nicely on my skin. Concealers. I feel like I've been, this has been going on for so long, so I'll try and whiz through the rest. For a more lightweight and more brightening concealer, I've, it's just been Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brightener for me. I love this. I always bring it around with me wherever I go, because um, it's great for touch-ups because it's so lightweight. Um, my shade is Peach. Yeah, just do for applicator. I've spoken about it so many times. Um, I always use it under my eyes to brighten up my face because I have quite bad dark circles. And then for a heavier one and for more of a fail-safe one, definitely this. I feel like everyone's going to be saying this this year. But it's the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Um, sure you've heard about this so much, so I won't go on too much, but it comes in a little pot. But it's kind of just everything in the name. <laughs> it's, um, it's soft. When you kind of see it in the pot, it seems like it might be quite a thick or heavy concealer to apply but when you just get a bit on your finger and blend it out it's actually quite light but it gives you such a good coverage I don't know what they've done to create this but the formula is amazing and I feel like there's nothing out there like this I use it a lot to cover up blemishes sometimes I use it under my eyes like today I've got a mixture of this and the Bobbi Brown under my eyes okay we're getting there eye products uh, I don't actually have a mascara I actually forgot because I've been using eyelash extensions for most of the year, so I haven't really loved one mascara. Um, but brows, where do I start? <laughs> the Ico Brow Gel, I'm sure I probably mentioned this last year as well. I mention this all the time, but it's amazing. Just, it brushes out my brow hairs so nicely and it makes them look so defined. And I like that it's not too pigment heavy. So it, it to me, it looks very natural. And then also I love the Glossier Boy Brow. I feel like everyone's gonna love this this year. Um, this definitely has much more pigment in it. Um, but I said recently as well that I feel like this gives your brows much more texture. It makes them, it makes your brows look more like you're actually adding hair. Whereas the Ico one just separates your brows, brow hairs out really nicely. Right, lastly for makeup, contour. Um, I've been using quite a few things this year, but I always go back to this. It's the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate palette um, in Intensity 1. In summer, sometimes I use this, the, the light one, um, as a really subtle gloss. That one is a product that I tend to forget about quite a lot of the time because I like to put actual highlighter on as opposed to a gloss. But this cream contour shade, absolutely love it. I mean, I don't really pack on contour. I like my makeup to try and look quite natural. So I just, I usually put a bit on pretty much every day, just blend it out and it just gives me that bit of definition. If I'm going out at night or something, I'll definitely pile it on a little bit more. <laughs> Especially because it's a cream, I think it looks really natural. And then you could obviously layer it up with a powder contour as well if you want a more defined look. Skincare, there's only two things because if you guys have been watching me for like this year, you'll know that I switched to mainly MV Organic products for my skin. Um, and since then I've just been sticking to those those simple products and that's been working for me so well. I have been experimenting with some like toners, serums and face masks. But I just wanted to keep it really simple. So this, the Envy Organic Cleanser is absolute, oh, if you're gonna start start anywhere with this brand, definitely try out this cleanser. It's the Gentle Cream Cleanser. I just think it would be good for anyone. It's quite creamy and rich and it, um, it feels very nourishing when you're working it into the skin. Um, and I just uh, take it off with a hot flannel. And I don't really wanna use any other cleanser now <laughs> for my second cleanse. I've been using a few different first cleansers, but this one is just the one this year. And I also obviously love their moisturizer, the rose one. Lastly, for all of my beauty skincare things, a face mask. 
Um, I've been, again, been liking a few ones. This is the one though I've been grabbing for multiple times. It's the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. When I saw this, I didn't think I would like it. It looks really, actually looks a bit like a hair conditioner. <laughs> oh, oh, what does it smell like? I think it's coconutty. I feel like it smells really random <laughs> for a face mask. I used to be someone who only used to really use clay masks and I feel like I felt like that was the only thing that worked on my skin. I was never really interested in hydrating masks because I always had quite I always had oiliness. But I love my skin after I use this. It goes on like like a creamy gel. Um and then I leave it on for like 10 to 15 minutes. It makes my skin a little bit kind of tingly. I do use the white one for when I've got breakouts. But this one, um, I feel like the older I get, the more I reach for face masks when I'm, my skin's feeling really tired as opposed to when I'm having breakout breakouts. And I feel like it really does something to my skin as opposed to putting something on and then being like, that was nice, but I don't feel like anything changed. Let me know what your favorite Glam Glow mask is. I thought I'd just mention two YouTube channels that I've been loving. <laughs> that I've been loving this year. I thought I'd mention different types of channels, so not really beauty fashion ones. The first one that I've been loving is Nerdwriter, um, and I've spoken about him before, but he does video essays on, it can be loads of different things. Some things are like pop culture, films, uh, politics, lots of kind of random subjects, but they're always things that I'm interested in or that everyone is interested in kind of at that point. He's amazing, Nerdwriter, Go and check that channel out. Have to also say Style Like You. I've mentioned them as well before, but um, oh, if you wanna go and like feel feel like you can relate to so many different people through their, th through interviews with them, um, I feel like it's so empowering. It is inspiring. There's so many good words to try and describe this channel. But check out Style Like You, love them. An app that, I don't really download that many apps, but one I downloaded this year that has been quite helpful is Clue. It tracks your menstrual cycle. So I find it quite help, quite helpful because you let it know every month like when you're coming on and like during your period when you're heavier, lighter, um, and it gets more clever and then it can track when it thinks you're gonna be coming on next. Um, and when I'm feeling like really bitchy, <laughs> I check the app and then it usually says PMS coming up. It's just handy to have it there because I so often I forget that I'm supposed to be coming on. It sends notifications as well. It says like PMS coming up and I'm like, oh. I especially really liked it because after having a baby, your hormones and your cycle can be a bit off balance. So I was using it as well to kind of get to grips again with what my cycle was like. I think what my favorite two shows of the year were, were firstly Mindhunter, absolutely amazing. Oh my God. It's on Netflix if you haven't seen it. Oh, I won't try and explain it. I'll, maybe I'll link the trailer to it down below. If you love the film Zodiac and things like that, don't, you'll definitely love it. Um, and then also The Handmaid's Tale. I feel like I don't need to say anything else. Everyone has pretty much seen it. Um, but if you haven't seen it, definitely go watch it. It's amazing. It's based on a book. It's based on Margaret Atwood's uh, book. It really blew my mind. I was like, Ugh, everyone's talking about this, boring. <laughs> but when I watched it, I was like, oh my God. I think that's everything. That feels, that was long. If you've made it to this point, thank you. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what some of your favorite things have been down below. Um, if there's anything you think I should try out for next year. Happy New Year to everyone as well. I'm not sure what date exactly this is going up, but Happy New Year. Hope you've all had an amazing year. Thank you all for sticking with me this year, watching my videos, subscribing. Honestly, I, I feel like I want, <laughs> What's wrong with me? I feel like I want to give you all a really big hug or something. I know it's cheesy, but yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited to work on like bigger and better content for next year as well. I hope you guys want to stick around with me. I'm gonna go before I get too soppy. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.